country. But I think we've got to understand this about the West Africa situation. You know where a few years back, you remember we had to work with the uh, with Cote d'Ivoire, the Ivory Coast, Cote d'Ivoire to help them to get sorted out. And one of the things that we found was that there was an agreement with France signed at the point of the independence of Cote d'Ivoire that France would maintain a military barracks in Abidjan, the capital. And the commander of the French troops, in any situation where he felt the security of Cote d'Ivoire or the security of France was threatened, he had the power, sovereign power, a French general, to take over the public station, broadcasting, and announce whatever he liked. It's one of the agreements, one of the 12 or so agreements, that not only Cote d'Ivoire, but many countries of the Francophone, the Francophone countries that signed with France at independence. Mali, Mali just now, has just repudiated all of those agreements. I think there were 11 or 12 of them, which include prescriptions about when you've generated a foreign currency, bank it in Paris. Yeah. And Paris, the French franc then, would guarantee your currency, CFA. Part of what is happening uh, in, uh, in West Africa, 